In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a parametric sweep on the probe temperature for the left side of case study one. So in the original problem, you did a 90 degree probe temperature. So we're going to study several different probe temperatures and compare the results. So to do this, we are going to add a parameter value because we're going to do a parametric sweep of the probe temperature. So we're going to name it probe T. You can name it whatever you would like. And we're going to set it off at 90 like the original. So we're going to change this temperature to 273 plus 90. Okay. Oops. So we actually, instead of 90, we want probe T, that new variable we just declared. So probe T is 90. And so this is the same problem. So to study different temperatures, we're going to right click on study one and add a parametric sweep because we're going to do a parametric sweep on the probe temperature. And you see probe T show up. If you had different parameters, they would show up in this list also. So we're going to study, say, 70, 90, 110, and 130. It's going to do four. And we're going to right click and click compute. And so what you're going to see is console will run through the different probe temperatures, 70, 90, and the number below is the time, so 110. And it's going up to 180 each time. Now it's at 130, the last one, and it goes up to 180. Okay. And so we can look at the surface plots for different probe, for these different probe temperatures, but we want to look at solution two and not solution one. So Comsol created under this data set a new solution two for parametric. Well, Comsol was also nice enough to create this temperature one, which is actually the parametric. So you can look at different surface plots for different probe temperatures by choosing these parameter values. So that's how you can look at um, surface plots of different parameter values. If you want to look at your 1D plot of different parameters, it's already on solution 1, but actually you're looking at this cut point 2D1. But you only see one curve. You don't see four like we want. So what we have to do is go to our cut point 2D1, and we need to switch it to solution 2, the par parametric sweep. So if we go back to this point graph, what we're going to see is four different curves, but like before, it's unlabeled. So we need to show legends. And now what you see is the la la labeled plots. And we want to move it so that the legend isn't covering the curves. And so we're going to go back to our plot group and move it from the upper left, upper right to the upper left. And now we can see the effect of different probe temperatures is what we expect. Higher probe temperature, higher temperature at that point. And so that's how you look at a parametric sweep at a point and at a surface, for a surface. So on the surface plot, you can actually s easily select your parameter values. On the point graph, you need to actually go back to your cut point 2D and select the solution it's pointing at. I hope that makes sense, and this is how to do a parametric sweep of one variable. Thank you.